I came across uh, a very interesting article um, to do with uh, the, vice, the former vice president of Uganda. Um, he was invited in China in, in the 80s uh, to have a look at their agricultural systems. Um, and then he went there, he was taken around the villages in China, and uh, surprisingly, people in China were, you know, they had access to lights, uh, they, they could easily cook on gas, and then he asked them, where do you get the gas? And the Chinese said, oh, we, we, we make it ourselves. Uh, and you can imagine in the 80s in Uganda, you know, th there was almost nothing in the village. Uh, many people didn't have access to electricity at all, no phone, no, no phone at all. So the whole country was still really backward in all senses. So he really got excited. Uh, he asked the officials, the Chinese officials, uh, if they could uh, give uh, or provide him with, you know, four people, uh, experts on the biogas. Uh, to, uh, you know, to come with him to Uganda, and then he said, you know, the, the government of Uganda will fund everything, will fund the air tickets, uh, we will look after them in that period, uh, and all I want is uh, for them to educate and, te you know, teach my people how the biogas thing works. So he came uh, with uh, four Chinese, I think, um, and then they came to Uganda, but that time in the 80s, uh, war was going on. There was a rebellion um, uh, in, in many villages. So ca the only place that was really safe for the Chinese was Kampala, because the rebels hadn't invaded Kampala yet. So he, he, he said the best people to teach would be maybe a number of young people from Makerere University uh, who were doing uh, engineering. Uh, degree. So he managed to talk to the head of the department, and the head of the department provided him uh, with four <coughs> people uh, to be trained up on biogas. So the Chinese went off in one uh, area uh, to, to train these people. Uh, but in the middle of the training, uh, the, you know, the, 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 the rebellion was intensifying, and they were closing in. Uh, Kampala, so they were just on the suburbs of Kampala. So the Chinese say to the vice president, we can't stay, uh, we need to go back home because you know, the war is intensifying. Um, and then the, the vice president did something which was brave in, in a sense, uh, but maybe not good on the side of the Chinese. He said, unfortunately, you can't go back until uh, these people you know what they are doing because he called them he called the four Ugandans into his office and said you know how biogas it, it is done uh, and they said well unfortunately we, we, we don't know we know how to dig the, the, the holes we know how to you know do the bricks but we really don't know how the whole process works because what the Chinese had done maybe because of the language barrier had not explained uh, how the whole thing works, apart from them, you know, taking the whole. So he, he said to the Chinese afterwards, after the meeting, he said, well, you can't go back home until these people know what they are doing. So, uh, you know, the, 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 the four people already had an education. They were from the university. So what the Chinese did was to get out um, something that would have looked uh, like that, um, got uh, that out, um, and then just explained to the four Ugandans that, you know, you just measure like this, you measure like this, uh, and then you, you just mix uh, the, the, the cow dung, and then you get the gas. So they, they went, I think it might have taken just one day to do that, uh, and then they went back to the vice president and said, you know what, we now know how the biogas thing works. So unfortunately, there was still a bit of time for the Chinese to, to get to the airport and to go back home. So they, they, they boarded their plane and went back. Uh, now these four Ugandans, unfortunately, uh, some, some of them must have died in the war, but one, one of them managed to escape 
and went to Nairobi. So he got a job at Nairobi University, started teaching, but for some reason, maybe because of being busy with other things, he didn't really carry on with the, with, with the biogas uh, research. Uh, so he's the only, uh, he's working at the university now, but he's the only surviving uh, uh, person uh, that acquired that kind of knowledge. So when, when I was doing, almost finished with my research, I came across uh, his mobile phone number uh, because somebody, I think, also must have posted something on, on, on a website. Uh, so I got this number, I said, where well, I, I, I've done the research, but it would be interesting to share uh, with this person and see how we can develop this technology. So I gave him a call uh, and uh, you know, he, he, he was um, interesting and we, we, we arranged a meeting, um, we shared the research uh, that we had done, I shared my research to him uh, and uh, he really got uh, interested in the whole thing. So he said, well, when, when I built my first house, I actually built a, a biodigester. So I said, uh, that's, that's fantastic, if, if I can see it in practice, uh, that would be great. So we drove to his home um, and you know the biodigester was there already uh, and the, what, what was interesting is the, the you know the, the whole setup at his home uh, the wife could just put you know the, 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 the food on the stove and she could she was in the living room doing other things and the whole environment was very very clean because there's no uh, you know firewood no charcoal uh, it was all you know, supplied by, you know, the biogas. Everything that is needed for cooking and for, for lights was provided by the biodigester. So that really uh, made uh, me carry on uh, to think about how you can actually use um, uh, the, the, the gas, the biogas, to power other things, <coughs> to use it on a generator uh, and to um, run machines that are needed on a farm, on a small farm. So, but that is a second stage. Before I, I could do any of that, I said I need to build one uh, myself. Um, and if it works in Mitiana, then I would uh, you know, um, make sure that the technology is transferred to other areas uh, of Uganda.